Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Loon and Neat, and what I'm creating for you for the collective today is, you know, it could be simply a, a video, right? It could be just a video. But for those of you who are open to the concepts of um, subconscious communication or, you know, that we hear messages at the right time and we stumble across even through YouTube algorithms, you know, stuff at the right time. Or if you want to take it even further and open to the concepts of energy work by proxy, you know, if you're open to the concept of prayer, it's kind of the same, you know what I mean? Our theme today has been inspired. It's funny. I was actually thinking of a theme and I was like, I don't know though. Let me check. Actually, let me pull some cards. And it really did work with the theme that I had in mind, but uh, kind of gave another perspective to it. So I'm just going to share those cards with you. The theme I was thinking of was preparing us for greatness. In a uh, recent live stream that I did on Patreon, uh, a f like a few piles that came up in a card reading were about something coming. <laughs> but you better be rested and you better be ready to act. But like, don't be tense about it. But, be but you're going to have to take action. Like it was kind of this like fine line kind of thing. And I was like, well, like let's do a session then of preparation. So the first card that I pulled was the um, King of Pentacles. And I'm like, like, look at this dude. Look at his suit. Look at his freaking tailored suit. Look at him with his watch. Look, right? You know what I mean? Like, there's, there, is, there is greatness here. Physical greatness, manifestation, um, ownership of your reality, but in a way where you're like, damn, like, I'm owning this shit. Like, not just like, I'm responsible for it. We all know that. But a real, like, boss level kind of ownership comes through with this card specifically. This is the Mystic Mondays Tarot deck. The second card that I got was the Eight of Pentacles. Very creative, you know, con c creating, building, refining your craft, doing, very physical. There's a discipline, there's a um, integrity of sorts, you know, there's, there's declining, potentially, well, I don't know any of us right now who are declining going out because we're not really allowed to go out right now. Or you know what I mean? Like, it's not really... It's a little uncouth at this moment, isn't it? But like, like saying no to um, even a Zoom hangout or, you know, how can I say this better? Given the present circumstances, basically not working on yourself but working on a craft of some kind or it could be yourself as in the continuously developing yourself, but this feels external. This feels like something that's being created and shared in some way. So we have this boss card with this um, discipline and uh, how do I say this? Like integrity of creating, like the integrity of like, no, I'm a creator. And this is what I do kind of thing. And then I got the um, ace, um, excuse me, ace, the two of wands, which was a card that came up before, which is about an opportunity to create, but which way are we going or what are we tuning into? And then we had the bottom of the deck as the Knight of Swords in reverse. So all of this put together tells me that the session here at least and what the theme that we're going to have today is revolves around getting out of our freaking heads. <laughs> Stop overthinking it stop like, oh, when I do this, or I could do that, or, oh, I would do that, but you know what, things are kind of different now, it's like, stop, do, create, get physical, you know, don't rush, this isn't about rushing, this might be about practice, this might be about ownership of your reality in a way of like looking at it from that like boss, boss ass perspective, in a way that empowers you, I hope, right, that's always the intention, and the actual physical creating or writing or crafting or refining or repetition or tweaking or um, system building and system refining and data entry and like all whatever is for you. I'm sure it's not all of those things. It could be. I doubt it's all of those things. But in general, like getting out of the freaking mental field 
and into the physical reality. So that's what we're going to be focused on. Getting out of just the creative force, or rather carrying through the creative force. It passes the mental, yes, like this discernment, this thought, this logic, this cognition certainly needs to be there, but it needs to fully come out as well through your actions, through your motivation, through your will, through through you showing up and walking walking the dang walk, you know? So um, in all of this, there's a theme as well that was more of my intuition before of a preparation for greatness, all right? Like there is something coming. For those of you who stumble across this or feel drawn to watch it, something is coming. There is a gift. It might be just a little crumb, you know, and you're like, this can't be it yet. But the, those crumbs are actually seeds, right? Or those crumbs lead you down the trail, perhaps. So whether it appears big or small when it shows up, there's something coming for a lot of us that is a gift or that is an opportunity or that is like the moment. And I want us to be able to, to act, right? And there's a level here as well of taking ownership for the situation, like owning it is what I mean by that. And doing and getting out of your dang head and stop like reworking it reworking it like play if this is romantic for you it's about um putting in the time like putting in the time versus like playing a game in your head you know all right so let's get started with that with our little group of candle here that might pop at us so be careful some of us right now, this is a theme that we will work with as a um, advantage, that impulse, that instinct, that motive, that push to actually physically do, to actually physically create, to actually physically make change or start something new or refine whatever it may be for you, how it shows up in your life. But all of this, of course, as well in preparation for greatness in preparation for some life changing no matter how small it seems in the moment or how grandiose right but for that to welcome it to see it so clearly right just i see you and i'm gonna act on you like that kind of thing so that's kind of our motive here today and if you have an intention you would like to set for yourself please just follow the light send it in, speak it to yourself, say it inside your body, like in your mind, I mean. Although if you're able to, saying it out loud does create resonance, does create frequency, vibration, and does project into the universe in a more physical sense, right? And that's what this is about. So if you're able to even whisper this or snap your fingers or something that creates a vibration, please do so. It could be your breath, you know, whatever feels good. But do invoke your physical nature here, all right? I'm 
I'm only choosing to bring out two stones today. So the first, well, kind of. The first is this really cool um, carnelian. Let me get the candle. Let's see if I can show you how rad this is. I mean, I guess it's kind of hard, but it is a bit glowy with a light behind it. I love the like black pieces on it, the black markings. I think it looks so, so cool, so interesting. And I brought this out for that creative energy, that creative force. And the primal instinct to take action, to move. Not necessarily fight or flight, right? Like the more, um, how do I say, uh, action, impulsive, uh, creative impulse kind of um, attention here. Sorry, my words. And I chose this carnelian specifically because I do have others, but because it is more of like a yellowy orange, and I like the concept of working between the sacral and solar plexus. Like, I think it has a nice bridge to it in that regard. Alright, so I'm just going to take this and I'll bring it back for a moment. I'm just going to focus on channeling, aiming down at the sacral area first. Stirring up that creative force, stirring that creative energy, that instinctual, animalistic, if you will, like physical, physical, a physical need to create or a physical need to put a foot down and then the other and create momentum or keep moving. And I'm going to draw that up, draw moving my hand, guiding my hand, channeling through, guiding up to the solar plexus area with that true will, that true force, and taking that on as a part of our true authenticity as well, and how we see ourselves, how we're able to create, how we are ready, and we are moving, and we are pulled back, like ready to launch when the time comes, when it's right, but in the meantime, and I'm continuing to guide my hand up, just pulling gently, swirling back and forth, causing momentum, this energy of the chest to allow the the practice to become because sometimes the universe waits for us to get moving a lot of time the universe or however you want to think of it waits for us to be in motion waits for us to take those physical steps of showing up get out of our head get out of the um, manifesting perspective that's entirely mental or astral or created up here through thought that's incredibly powerful but for the big push is the act of getting started that the, re the universe is like oh they're doing it like send them more resources send them that person we'll show them that thing do, 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 like and it all just starts coming 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 it's quite incredible and we forget that you know so again, just moving back. I'm going to actually go back down just to make sure we're moving this up. Sacral, swirling, guiding, gently creating these waves up to the solar plexus, up to that place, <clears throat> excuse me, of will, of force, of personal power and drive going up through the chest, through into the throat. I'm going to switch my hand, switch my stone here in a moment. Let's place this right the candle here. Do this gorgeous aquamarine piece. I'll show you. It's so pretty. It's so interesting and soft. Like it's so soft. It's such a soft, icy blue. It has these gorgeous little. Step formations. I've probably shown you 20 times because I love this stone and bring it up a lot. We're going to go back to focusing on the throat, the point of 
expression to communicate to yourself and slightly soothe this area because it's such a pale blue here and I want that expression, I want to work with expression but I'm not trying to necessarily stimulate so much thought that we choke it up either so that's why I'm working with this one and I guess in tandem the um, orangey amber kind of piece so we're just drawing it out Bring out that expression to affirm, I am ready, I am not here to solely walk, excuse me, solely talk the talk. I'm walking the dang walk, I'm taking action, I'm practicing, I'm moving my body as able as I, as I may, I'm making the calls, I'm making the plan and the calendar. I'm watching the videos, the how-tos, I'm listening to other people, I'm reading books, I'm collecting information because all of this is also action. All of this also gets you in place, but remember not to keep it only up here. It must, we must, in this case, do something with it in the physical. Just like if you, I've used this expression before, but if you want to be a chef and you feel like you're not you're not doing, like, you gotta start cooking, dude. Like, you gotta start cooking something, what you have available. Get some spices, learn some techniques, you know. You might not have the chef's kitchen yet or the tools you feel like you want. But you gotta start. At the, at wherever you can, you gotta start and just, you know, <laughs> parallel that as best as you can to your real situation, of course. We're going to guide it out, moving it up, guiding through. All right. soothing, but the energy of it is a bit like heightening. And it has a great like channel kind of um, optic, fiber optic kind of quality to it, right? So we're gonna do again, focusing back in the sacral area, just stirring and I'm drawing in affirmations to empower your creative force, to empower your sense of how much potential unlimited, right? Limitless potential lies within you to tune into that. I tap into the incredible unlimited potential of my creative force. I tap into the unlimited power of my will, of my drive, of my personal energy to direct. I tune in to my instinct to act when guided to act when that instinct hits and take a step and then another and then another to learn, to read, to practice again and again moving through Guiding up into the heart, writing affirmations of alignment, of hearing your soul, hearing your soul's guidance. Guiding up into the throat to express these, these wants, these desires, this um, dedication, this uh, 
what this I am, I do, I create, this is me, like the affirmations of self and of your choice and what you choose to, dare I say, succeed at or dare I say, work towards. I don't love the word success all the time, although I mean it here in like the best way, of course. And to not overthink, to allow the mind to be an asset. Not a, not a cage, not a trap. We let the doors swing open and let this out. Just draw some symbols, focus on an awakening, an attunement of sorts, not a Reiki attunement, but an attunement of sorts, to your potential, to your ownership, like a little sassy, a little Capricorn. I don't want to say cold, but there is a little element here of like, no nonsense, not no play, but no nonsense, you know, no drama. Nothing personal. Play? <laughs> sure. Just try to tune in. of a tarot deck out right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so low. So doing approximately seven. These ideas we have, these things we tell ourselves we want to experience, we want to block out, clear out, swoosh out, forgive, I'm not trying to slap you here, but <laughs> the, the excuses we make, the things we tell ourselves and why we can't or why, you know, oh, well, yeah, this is coming, but I'm not ready, but I'm, hey. That's okay if you need time, don't get me wrong. But for those of you who know what I mean, I 
can you feel? We need a little of that. <laughs> we need to rev this engine a little. We need to put a, the foot down a little bit. Getting images of owls, particularly like barn owls and babies, baby owls. Seeing a shark. It's a message of forward, forward momentum. And that scent, right? Of like what they say, like one drop of blood. Shark can smell it from however far away. Feel that within you. But that blood or that scent or that droplet. His opportunity, his divine timing, is an opening of sorts, right? And just focusing on tuning into that shark energy and attuning yourself to that instinct, that, f that forward drive. I'm hearing, <laughs> I'm hearing ruthlessness, and of course I don't mean that by putting other people down, but like, I have to, I, I would love to spend some time with you today, but this, this has to be, this is, this is a thing I need to do. Like, you know, I hope I'm making sense. Alright, so we're gonna flip it up, get you ready. This tailored suit, this fresh cut, this, like, hair, I mean. Obviously, it's not me. This grooming, you know, like looking in the bar, where that might be some of it for you too. Like just getting dressed, <laughs> getting dressed how you want to, um, for like what you want, like the dress for the job you want, kind of thing. Oh, that's big, so big. It's such a communication to the subconscious and the subconscious of others. on the physical, focus on the things you do in the real day to day that are less mental at this point and more physical. That's a simple way we can say it. Alright. Well, I thank you so very much for allowing me to share a little bit of your path today. Thank you so, so much to those of you in the Patreon community. I'm so honored. I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have been lifesavers, like lifesavers this year. Thank you so much, especially as well to those of you who have been so blessed to work with for Reiki training and uh, attunements and just all that yummy stuff. It's such a treat for me. It's a huge honor, so thank you so much. If you're interested in that, I have my schedule till the end of the year up now and available. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're at the end of this year or getting there at least, you know, even my schedule you know, it means something, right? So, it's pretty big, but... Alright, so, from the very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine within you, within me, to this magic, this connection, this energy, this 
unexplainable force that we're all somehow connected through. How magical, how yummy. <laughs> Alright, so much love to you and namaste.